Hi y'all, welcome back to another cleaning video. Today I am deep cleaning my living room and dining room and I'm taking you along with me. So if you need some deep cleaning motivation, here is the video for you. So we're just hopping right in, moving the couch out of the way. It, luckily it kind of comes into a couple different pieces. I was cleaning on the weekend because it is very hard for me to deep clean my couch on a weekday with my two kids whose naps do not coincide. It gets very difficult, but it's also, I don't know, it feels equally as difficult to do it with my husband and my kids home because then I have three people up in my business, not just two little ones. You know what I mean? But anyway, he was kind of helping me move the couch, although our couch is not that hard to move, but you know, I applaud my husband for, you know, trying to help, whatever. <laughs> Picking up all of the toys that get under this couch. I have fully decided to just keep stuffed animals up here and every other toy is going to the playroom because I just get so annoyed with all these little toys going under the couch and then the kids are crying for them and no one can reach them. So this is the last time I'm going to be picking up really tiny toys from under this couch, hopefully. So I just pick them all up and I throw away whatever's trash and I put, you know, dirty dishes in the sink, whatever. And I kind of clean off the toys if they're dusty. And then I vacuum really, really well and mop behind the couch. I basically just go in sections of where the couch sits to vacuum and mop because as you can see, the couch really takes up a big area. I can't move it 100% out of the living room. So I just kind of move it all around and try to get the different sections when I can. So I just mop really, really well. And I'm using my O-Cedar Spin Mop so that I can also really easily do the baseboards as well. That is like my favorite part of this mop is the shape of it makes it really easy to mop and then also do the baseboards at the same time. And then I'm dusting off my little lamp here. I got this from Amazon. I think it is so, so cute. I will link it down below if you're interested. Wiping that all the way down, finishing up the mopping and moving the couch back. In the second little section of the couch my mop water was ready to be changed so there is the water dump it doesn't look too bad because i was using pine allen which is pink but trust me that water was dirty and now i'm doing this last little section where the couch sits and then i'm going to put that part back and mop the rest of the living room well vacuum and mop the rest of the living room and then give everything else the coffee table tv stand and the windowsill my normal little wipe down that i do basically every single day just kind of making sure that i also get the legs of the tables and things that i normally wouldn't do on a daily basis just making sure all that stuff is really really clean
we are moving on to shampooing the couch. This is the main reason that it's really hard for me to do this on a weekday because it just takes forever to get this couch done. It is really big and as you guys probably know if you've done anything like this before, shampooing your carpets or your fabrics, your couches, it just takes a good long while. So I waited for the weekend. So what I do for these stains is I sprayed the OxyClean laundry spray on it and it seems to work really well. I've had no problems with it. It gets the stains out of my couch and it hasn't. I haven't had any problems with my carpet cleaner while using this. So I just use the hose attachment and I go over this whole couch basically until I see the water coming up clear. And it had been a long time since I've deep cleaned you guys. I'm doing this whole deep cleaning series right now on my channel and this is the first time that I have deep cleaned my couch since we had the baby and he's almost a year old and I usually deep clean everything once a month. So it was very bad. <laughs> it was very bad, but at least I'm getting it done and I'm getting back on top of things now that my baby's almost one. His sleeping is a little bit better. He's a little bit more scheduled. He's sleeping through the night. He's having really consistent naps for the most part. So I am gonna get back on my deep cleaning grind, but for now, it, it was looking rough. It was looking rough. I'm glad I got it done. So I'm just going to quickly get through the rest of this couch and deep clean every single square inch of it. This was the absolutely disgusting dirt that came out of the couch. I'm so glad that is done and that is the living room done. So finally, I think we are going to be able to get our new TV stand that's going to take up this whole long section. I think it's about to come back in stock and we're going to be able to get it. It's been on back order for so, so long and I want to get some more decoration for this area. But you guys, it is so hard for me to decide what I want for decoration. For this long section above the couch, I actually have kind of a family friend that just started making art and selling it. So I think I want to buy from her and that'll be really amazing. And then we'll finally have our new TV stand. And then maybe after a couple finishing touches, I will finally have the living room fully decorated. Like I want to get some wreaths for those little retro windows over there on the side wall, but it is so hard for me to decide, but of course, once I do, I will make a video about it. So now we are moving on to the dining room. I typically do do the dining room and the living room on the same day when I'm deep cleaning this section. I kind of deep clean in sections like I've explained in some of my other videos. It's really easy for me to break my house down by room. And the reason that I do the living room and the dining room together is because I already have the hose attachment out and ready to go on my carpet cleaner. So I basically do the same exact thing to these fabric cushions. I spray down anything that is stained with the OxyClean stain remover and then go over these a million times, especially the one chair that my toddler sits in. It gets very, very gross. And then I just set those off to the side and let those dry and I wipe down the entire table and all of the chairs. Again, doing this once a month just really helps to keep up with it. I feel like if you don't have kids, you probably don't need to do this much of a deep clean on your table every single month. Like, I feel like I never had to do this this frequently until I had kids, but they get fingerprints and food splatters literally everywhere on every single inch of your house. So ever since having little kids, I definitely do do this once a month, if not more frequently, just depending on how messy things do get. So I wipe down the legs of the tables and then I just move the chairs out of the way so that I can mop in here really well as well. I'm gonna do a really thorough vacuum and a really thorough mop in here. And then I put the chairs back. And as I'm putting the chairs back, I will wipe them down as well so that I can just kind of keep track of what I'm doing and reach every single inch of them. And I don't have all the chairs like, cluttered around me if that makes sense so after i'm done mopping i will put those babies back and give those a very good wipe down as well I'm 
just wiping down everything with a microfiber towel and my Miss Myers multi-surface cleaning spray, but you can of course use anything that you like that you trust to clean your stuff with. And that is the dining room done. And in here again, I cannot wait to decorate in here. We're gonna put some shelves over here and make a coffee corner. We need to move these old windows over since we got a different thing in this corner over here. They're not centered the way they need to be. And then I have a really cool collage wall that I'm planning on doing in here that I am so excited about and the coffee corner I'm so excited about as well those things are coming up relatively soon when we can actually get to them when we have the time again having little kids really disrupt some of that stuff but it's coming and when it does come you guys will see videos so thank you guys so much for watching if you're still watching I have a whole nother playlist of all my cleaning videos if you still want to clean along with me other than that, everything else, my TikTok, my Instagram, and my other YouTube channel are always linked down below, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!